we could actually see a settlement on Monday, December 19th. And no, this is not like December 15th. This is completely different. In fact, I'm going to debunk why December 15th is insane and what actually happened because there was something that happened that changed everything for Ripple XRP. And more specifically, the settlement that was going to happen between the SEC and Ripple all changed because of this thing that I'm going to show you guys. This video took a very long time to research because it needed factual information as to why I picked December 19th to actually be the day and of course to tell you guys why and what happened on December 15th that changed the entire playing field and so I ask you guys all to make sure you subscribe to this video, subscribe right now, smash the like button, watch the video till the end. This is one insane video that you do not want to miss because it is going to be intense and it is going to prove to you guys why every XRP ambassador should be excited for December 19th. Not financial advice, not legal advice. That being said, let's jump right into today's insane video. All right, now there's a lot of content that I need to cover in this video and I don't wanna make this video too long. So watch it guys, because I'm going to condense, you know, I'll say 30 minutes worth of content into this 10 minute video, if not eight minute video. So here it is, we're gonna jump right into the meat and potatoes. Okay, so this is what happened. Everybody knows December 15th was the day that was supposed to be a date of settlement for Ripple XRP. In fact, some of the key players in the XRP community mentioned it, like Jack the Rippler citing settlement anytime on December 15th. We see, you know, Cardano, ADA founder and CEO, Charles Hoskins, say that December 15th is the day of settlement. In fact, he said he also heard it and he predicts that it's going to happen. And then on top of that, it even went as far as to have Hassan al-Nazi come out and say that the SC meeting with Ripple to discuss settlements is actually happening on December 15th at 3.50 p.m. on the main office in Washington and the discussions about settlements to get out of the impasse of Hinman email. So these key players, and, and there's of course a ton more people in the community that mentioned December 5th to be a golden time and the day that a settlement is going to take place for Ripple and the SEC. But see, there was one thing that all these people didn't take notice of that I had paid attention to. I, of course, didn't want to release it out yet because I really wasn't sure, but it was in my head that maybe something is happening with this settlement. And this triggered the thought on James K. Fillon. When James K. Fillon posted this order. Now, this order, again, parties request that the court set a deadline on January 4th, 2023, which non-parties must ask to seal any portion of summary judgment material or else waive any objections to the court ruling on party sealing applications, and it actually was granted on December 12th. Now here is where things got a bit suspicious, because this is all fine. This is so important because it is the last document that is allowed to be sent to Judge Netburn, or the judge of the SEC Ripple case. Nothing else is allowed to be submitted, nothing else is allowed to be filed, sealed, nothing. Well, I wouldn't say legally you're allowed to file, but this is supposed to be the final documentation, and it was made clear by every single lawyer that is a part of the Ripple SEC case. This is where things got a bit weird. This is supposed to be the last document that is supposed to be submit. It uh, got accepted. It was actually a joint documentation between Ripple and the SEC. Very interesting. This is where things changed. On the, I think this is the 15th of December, December 15, 2 p.m., SEC Exchange Commission Ripple. This is on the courtlistener.com website. It shows somebody filed something, a filing of documentations for the SEC Ripple case. How is that supposed to happen? Why is that possible? What changed? This document right here that I showed you guys is supposed to be the last document for the court. Why did it all of a sudden, a couple days later, there, you know, a documentation or something get filed to the court? Something is suspicious. And this is actually the same documentation, the date here, December 9th is when it was filed. It was actually accepted on, uh, if we have a look here, it's accepted on the 12th. Around December 12th is when we started to get news that a settlement might actually be happening on the 15th. And so on the 15th, when you look here and you see a document was sent in to Judge Netburn, the day that a settlement was supposed to take place, it kind of brought to my thought process that something is off. Could it be that maybe settlement talks broke up or something with the settlement, you know, broke? And then we seen another thing that triggered and proved that point that yes, something happened with the settlement, things have changed. Before we move forward, here's a quick reminder of MetalCrypto.com where you can buy your own personalized Metal Crypto coins. And to be honest, I'd recommend the Ripple XRP coin with case right here. It looks so freaking nice. 
or the XRP coin with case right here as well. And it comes in gold and silver, whichever one you prefer. Now, this is the perfect gift for anybody that's enthusiastic about crypto or XRP. As you guys can see, I personally bought a bunch of freaking XRP coins, but I also bought myself, you know, like the Bitcoin and Cardano, as well as Ethereum, Dogecoin, and the Shiba Inu coin. And this is just because I have a lot of friends and family that really love crypto. And this is the perfect thing to give them this holiday season. If you are similar, make sure you guys go ahead and get yourself one of these metal coins at least. Give them as, you know, a gift for this holiday season. And if you use my link down below and my referral code, you'll actually get yourself a 10% discount. That being said, let's not waste any more time. Let's get back into the crazy crypto content. Ta-da! An emergency meeting that occurred with a date earlier than the one that was supposed to happen. Because if we look at the SEC website, here are the dates that were supposed to happen where the SEC was having a meeting. November 17th. December 1st, December 15th, January 12th. All of a sudden you had an emergency meeting where a new date was plotted into this chart and guess what date was put? December 19th, correct. It is December 19th. And what are they going to be talking about this time as well? Look at the coincidence. Institutional and settlement of injunction actions, institution settlement of administrative proceedings, resolution of litigation claims, and other matters related to examinations and enforcement proceedings. Exactly what they were supposed to talk about in the December 15th meeting. Guys, this is not a coincidence. What we're looking at here is facts. Facts that happened. What happened on December 15th? Every single thing that I talked to you guys about in this video. This shows you that something big is happening. And more importantly, that yes, even if the settlement that we're talking about here that even the settlement that everybody was hyping about December 15th that actually didn't happen, there are reasons to why it didn't happen. The reason why they, you know, disrupted the settlement is what I showed you guys in this video. Something happened. Now, we do not know the exact reason as to what maybe have caused this settlement breakaway, but what we do know is something did trigger them to break settlement or to, you know, decide to halt the settlement. And now, all of a sudden, there's a new date. Monday, December 19th is the new date for possible settlement discussions. Now, whether we're actually going to get a settlement on December 19th, I want to make clear, I'm not saying there is going to be a settlement on December 19th. In fact, I never stated there will be a guaranteed settlement. There is settlement discussions. And we are given these dates as to when their meetings are going to take place. So it is logical to predict that after a short bit or a short, you know, couple days later, after the settlement discussions is when we are most likely going to see a settlement take place. And whether we find out there is a settlement take place on the same day, maybe the 19th we get news that there's a settlement, maybe on the 20th, it doesn't really matter. In fact, a lot of people have made it clear, and I am one of those people as well, that will tell you that we will not find out if a settlement took place until a while after it actually happened. In fact, all the people that have been talking about XRP's price supposedly needing to skyrocket for there to be a settlement, this day of the settlement actually happening, I don't know where you're getting for your for information from, but it's actually false. Because not only will we not know there's a settlement that happens when the papers are signed, but even the institutions that are supposed to be the ones pumping up the price will not know a settlement took place. It's confidential. There are only two people that are going to find out when the settlement is signed. And that is the Ripple team or the Ripple lawyer attorney team that is signing the documentation and the SEC attorney lawyer team that are signing the documentations and maybe the judge that is in the middle. That is it. There is nobody else going to find out. So no, even if a settlement is to take place this second, today, you know, it would still not impact the price of XRP. XRP could will could and will still be at 35 cents. It will only begin to pump once the news goes public, once the institutions find out. So don't think that just because a settlement is signed that instantly, you know, right when it's signed, there is going to be a settlement and the price is going to skyrocket. That's not how it works. That's not what's going to happen. Keep that clear. All right, guys. And of course, we have to end it off with this juicy looking tweet that, you know, gives it a price prediction that I'm really excited about. And of course, it says, based on the analysis I have done over the past three years while invested in XRP, it is most logical to say that with the current charts show a 7,583% increase on XRP's current price, leading a price prediction of $22.74, almost $22.75. He continues on by saying, disagree all you want, the charts prove it all, hashtag XRP. 
So, of course, let me know what you guys think about this prediction. Do you think XRP is going to go up 7,583% and, of course, lead to a price point of $20.75? And when do you think it's going to happen? This just freaking hypes me up. I love, you know, reading these price predictions. Whether they happen or not doesn't really matter, but it gets me pumped and hyped, and it truly makes me feel the potential of XRP, in which really XRP could hit, you know, some crazy numbers. That's the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you smash the like button. Follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, all of that. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. All will be linked in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video.